Olympics to achieve a perfect 10 in gymnastics, you need to show it was risk, originality, and virtuosity, pushing past where everyone else has done. Yeah. And so can you briefly explain what, what that means and, sure. and how they can make and break a performance? You know, um, the, the judging code, the rules, have changed over the years. And so now this little category of ROV isn't quite embedded into the rules like it was before. But this is how it was when I competed. So just to give you an uh, example, um, every skill that a gymnast performs would have a difficulty label or level attached to it. A, B, C, D, E level skills. A's are the easiest, E's are the hardest. You have to do a certain number of each of those skills. And yet if I were to perform my routine perfectly with all the right skills, um, the highest score I could get then was a 9.4. And yet, of course, the standard or the goal is the perfect 10. The way that we got the last six tenths of a point was through fulfilling this other judging category called ROV, risk, originality, and virtuosity. So I got two tenths of a point more for doing something that's considered risky. And we already talked about that. Maybe not dangerous, but just difficult to perform successfully in a competition. I got two tenths of a point for being original, innovative, creative, do something new, maybe something that no one else has ever done before. And then finally I got two tenths of a point for showing virtuosity, which means to do something to the ultimate. Maybe doing something that everybody else can do, but you do it better. More artistry, more extension, more amplitude. Uh, so the judge then looks at the skills as well, you know, I've seen it done before, but not like that, I like the way he does that. So those little categories were kind of embedded into the scoring system. And to me, that's become a nice metaphor for life, you know, to really be fulfilled and, and to excel in the business world or in sports, you kind of have to take some risks, meaning push the envelope. Don't be reckless, but, but push yourself, you know, it, you know, kind of broaden your boundaries and your horizons. You also have to be unique and innovative, do things that maybe no one else has ever done before. Right? And, and that's, what it, that's, that's how businesses excel. That's how Apple Computer became so great because they're so innovative. Um, and then there's virtuosity, which maybe you do things everybody else does, but you do it better. Um, and so that could be the way you treat your customers. Uh, it could be uh, in sports. It can be, um, you know, just uh, especially a performance sport like diving or gymnastics or figure skating or whatever, um, that you create an impression on the viewer that says, that was special. That really stood out to me. And so that's 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 the framework of my book and the things that I talk about, ROV, Risk, Originality, Virtuosity, and go into great detail about why these three things can really help us in what we do. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.